Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing. This time this is a portable solar generator. This is in battery, come inverter, come NPPT solar charge controller. So let's quickly unbox this. As soon as you unbox it, you have this uh, box in which it comes in and the box is quite heavy because uh, this particular unit comes with the 1200 watt hour of built-in lithium ion batteries once you open the box you have some cables and your warranty card as well as your manual so this is from the brand power oak and this is the model ps10b so inside the cover you have this uh, solar connector so you connect it to your solar panel and this end goes to the uh, unit to charge the unit using solar and you have the heat shrink as well and along with that you have the AC cable as well this inverter has a built-in adapter you don't have a separate adapter to carry along and along with that you have your old manual uh, which is the psd 10 b that's the model type and along with that you also have a warranty card now you might be wondering why do you need this why do you need a built-in battery as well as an inverter now if you are a person who travels a lot and if you are into camping or you just need some portable uh, unit to say run a small appliances you don't have an inverter at home and you want to run small appliances you could use this so this is how the device looks like it comes into this packaging and uh, it is almost 10 kgs and along with that you also have a quite carrying handle so it, it it feels as if it's a suitcase so let's pull that cover out so this particular device at the front you have the cooling fan and a vent below that you have the PS10B branding and you have the input and output specification and this is the AC in and that's the solar in and this particular device is made up of uh, plastic uh, it's it's polycarbonate plastic feels pretty solid and at the other end you have the vent as well for the cooling then you have the DC 12 volt 6 ampere DC output and you have the AC output which is rated at 500 watts that's your power on off button as soon as you turn on the button glows this is the AC button to turn on your AC inverter and that's the DC output to turn on your DC output now as soon as you turn on your AC output the fan starts uh, running so that it uh, starts cooling the internals i'm going to connect a 100 watt uh, table fan right now which i would set it at high and i would show it to you guys now uh, this particular device comes with 1200 watt hour battery now what does that mean uh, so theoretically you could uh, run a 100 watts uh, say load for almost 12 hours but practically considering the inverter efficiencies you might get it close to 10 hours which is pretty good uh, considering this particular device so I'm just gonna connect a table fan now this particular device or the inverter is rated at 500 watts so you could draw a maximum load of 500 watts and I don't think you could draw anything more than that it might uh, it might be able to deliver some peak current for like couple of minutes but not continuously so it's rated at 500 watts now you might be wondering I mean would it would it be the right device for me now say for example if you live in an apartment if you are in a bachelor and you don't want to uh, change any wirings in your home and you just need a backup uh, supply maybe to run your computers maybe to run your TV you could just put an extension cord on this and you could start using it you don't need it to make any modifications one good thing is that this inverter is pure sine wave uh, which is similar to the normal AC output that you get and uh, the other end which is a 12 volt uh, DC output you could connect a cigarette charger and uh, you could use uh, to charge your device or you could also run 12 volt DC supply 
uh, devices like a table fan, DC light. Now, what what's the advantage? Now, for example, now there have been uh, solar uh, controlled uh, table fans that are being introduced which are more efficient now converting uh, the normal 12 volt battery to an AC output and then running a 12 volt device would not be the right thing so if you want this to last for a long time you could actually start using uh, 12 volt devices like your table 12 volt table fan which would really uh, make you run this for a long time And at the top you have these indicators to show the battery statuses each light indicates that it's a 25 percent charge and the input is rated that's the solar input is rated at uh, 210 watts as the maximum and the maximum voltage that you could supply is close to 54 volt dc so i think uh, a series panel of 100 watts two series panel of 100 watts should be fine to charge this in a day or even less than that now overall guys i bought this just to like do a test run on my home and i really don't want to make any changes to my wiring so that's reason i bought this and also being this being portable you could carry this along anywhere so you could directly charge this using your mains you don't need a special adapter it has a built-in adapter and this is a solar connector that i was talking about this has a dedicated type connector not the uh, generic mc4 type so you have to connect this and then solder your wires to the solar panel maybe you could connect the xt60 connectors at the end and you could connect the uh, xt60 at the end to your solar panel and so that you could it becomes portable Now I'm. This is just a an, an quick unboxing and overview of this product. I'm gonna do an extensive test of this. I'm gonna run a couple of uh, loads and I'll show you the efficiency of this particular device. Now I'm connecting this to an AC output so that I could show it charging. And as soon as you uh, put this on charge, uh, there is another fan that kicks in so that it starts cooling the internals while it's charging. You might hear this uh, fan spinning at the background. And one more thing is that you can also simultaneously charge as well as discharge this device. So like in UPS, you could use it. Another thing is that you have to make sure that the device is turned on always so that it charges. At the back, you have the small indicator showing that it uh, is charging right now. Overall, guys, I think this is a niche product. Not everyone is would be interested into it. But yes, uh, someone who's looking out for a portable power supply and if someone wants to run TVs or computers portably, I think this is the device to go with. If you have any questions, do let me know. If you're interested in buying this product, let me know. And uh, if you like this content, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.